Hello, everybody. Deborah from Very Best Little Hair House and the Alternative Hair Alchemist podcast here today. And let's do a little talk about going from hair loss to a wig. Now, I went through it myself and I specialize in looking normal in a wig with hair loss. And I have a lot of women coming through the door. So I thought, let me explain this as to what you want to look for when you are going into a wig. First of all, for a first wig, often what I hear when I come in here, no matter what wig it is, is too much hair. Because what happens with hair loss is gradually over time, you get used to seeing yourself in the mirror with a lot less hair and usually the hairline going back quite a bit. So often when you put any wig on at all, it's going to be overwhelming. But when you come here, we kind of talk you through it. We try several on and give you time to get used to yourself. Because I will tell you, almost everybody coming in here for a first wig, no matter what the first three wigs are that we try on, it's like, no, or I don't want to do this. So if you're going through a little bit of worrying about that, it seems kind of normal. It just comes with hair loss going into a wig is a huge change it doesn't have to be but it's an adjustment period so what i also recommend is wearing your wig at home for a little while because then you can get yourself accustomed to how you look in the mirror with the new look often your to match your existing hair color and texture isn't possible so i work to get you as close as possible but sometimes just even that little bit of a change when you look in the mirror takes some time to get accustomed to another thing often when you are looking at wigs you will like the pictures of the ones that have the beachy waves or a lot of volume. So sometimes when I see people come through the, the, the door that have hair loss, they will have been attracted to wigs all of a sudden like I know, okay, we will try this on, but it's probably going to be a little overwhelming. So generally, no matter what your hair length is, and whatever wig length you want, it is possible. But for a first wig, I usually recommend shoulder length or above. Yes, the long wigs look fantastic and definitely get one of those because of course, if you can't grow it, you can always buy it. And yes, you, if you want long hair, get one. But for day-to-day -day wear and getting used to life in a wig, shoulder length or above tends to be really manageable. And I have a lot of luck with women coming through the door with pixie haircuts. So we have a, a wide array of pixie choices. And just because it's short hair, not all of them look the same. So when you come through the door, I kind of ask you what your goals are, your lifestyle, talk to you a little bit, pick up on your vibe and your personality. And so then that helps me go from there to find the wig for you. There are kajillions of wigs out there. I am really good kind of as a matchmaker, if you want to put it that way, between the right person and the right wig. So today I wanted to show you one of my favorites because when you are going into a wig, sometimes a low density bob is a great choice. It's easy to get used to, if you know what I mean. And often women with hair loss get used to having a bang. So as you can see, this has a slight bang. This is Aria from Tony of Beverly. The color is one of the most popular colors they make and it's one of my favorite. This is rooted sandstone. And it has a little bit of a root to it, but not too much. I also see the tendency with people with hair loss, they. They want to stay away from the really dark rooted colors. Well, the good news is this style comes in like 40 different colors. And that is one of the strong points of Tony F. Beverly. They have a color that looks amazing on everyone. And this one even comes in one of my new favorite colors, which is rooted pink pearl. And I tend to shy away from the colored wigs. It's just my personality choice. But let me tell you, I will be showing you Rooted Pink Pearl in the future. And if you have a chance to check it out, definitely. Um, so 
Aria has the lace front, which a lot of people look for. It does give you a little bit more of that natural uh, hairline growth appearance when you, you can train it, steam it, whatever. It's a regular synthetic, so you wanna be careful around hot ovens but you can get it so that it comes up out of your face. I know a lot of people will refer to something as face floppers, but two things for that. Number one, I will train it out of the way at home with my fingers like this to direct the knots so the hair goes the way you want or steam, or one of my favorite secret weapons is a clip to clip it out of the way. Um, but either way, so you've got your lace front on this, very low density, nice movement. That's the other thing I look for when in alternative hair that I think helps make it look really natural. Avoid a lot of products. When you get that movement, that's the key to looking natural. And also, this one has a mono part. Ooh, lost my mannequin. Um, which means that you, it's slightly off center, but anywhere you see this type of, it's called lace, uh, that's the term it's referred to, you have the ability to part it anywhere from here to here, and it will look as if it's your scalp appearance. So there's some couple realistic features in this, being a low density bob coming in a lot of colors, this is definitely a good choice for uh, an initial wig. The cut on this is amazing. It's gonna look like you left a really great salon. Um, and that's another feature I look for in a wig is the details. The details are the key. So hopefully I've said something that helps you in this video. If it is your first wig, that's what I specialize in. Give me a call, chat, whatever. I like the personal connection. Um, so, and that is the beauty of when you come here for a consultation. It is just us. You make yourself at home and I will teach you as much as I know so that when you go out that door, you not only look good, but you know how to take care of it, you know what to expect, and you always have me, um, you know, after the sale to answer your questions. So thank you for watching. Check out the podcast. And until next time, bye-bye.